Hello and welcome to Fiddle Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Deep Freeze Configuration Administrator. Here we are on DC1. I have the Deep Freeze Installation Console here also. Here's the installation program. I'll accept this agreement and continue on. I just want to use an evaluation for the time being. So I'll click on this. Okay, we have installed it successfully. Now I need to put in the customization code. This will encrypt it for me so that other people would not be able to hack into it. Okay, let me go get the program launchers and attach them to the taskbar. Here they are. A is for the configuration administrator and C is for the console. Let me open up the configuration administrator. They have several tabs in this program. The first one is for passwords. There are two types of passwords, a workstation password and a command line password. The reason for the workstation password is for if somebody is accessing the computer and they want to stall the computer without going to the console. The command line is for third party programs that will need to stall the computer in order to make modifications to them. Now let's take a look at the Drives tab. Every drive that has a check mark by it is going to be in the frozen position under normal circumstance. You should only check the ones that should be frozen. If you happen to have only one drive, say for instance the C drive, you can create up to eight stall spaces in them by using these options here. A stall space will allow you to make modifications now let's take a look at the workstation tasks. There are several choices to choose from. The restart and shutdown will do exactly what you expect it to do. Restart the computer or shut it down. There is also several options. We can label each task, define when they are going to be run, and a few other options. The idle time will cause the computer to either restart or shut down after no one has moved the mouse or keyboard for a certain period of time. The batch file task will stall a workstation and run a batch file for you. We will actually see how a batch file can be created in the next tab. The stall period will unfreeze the workstation for a certain period of time so that other events might be able to happen as a result. You most likely want to disable the keyboard and mouse during this time, else another user might make modifications that you do not want. I almost forgot about the Windows update. This is for when you want the workstation to pull down updates from the Microsoft website. This should not be used when you have a WSUS server. Here are some options for the Windows update. You can either allow Deep Freeze to cache the update for you so it can install the updates when it's no longer stalled, or you can decide not to use the cache. Also, you can define the WSUS server. The batch file tab allows you to set up the batch file that can be run when the computer is in the stalled state. You can use either Microsoft or Novell Network credentials 
and you can make modifications to the batch file from this part. Here are some advanced options. If the deep freeze server is on the same network as the deep freeze workstations, you can just simply choose LAN because it will use the broadcast in order to find the workstations. But if the deep freeze clients are on multiple networks, you will need to use the LAN WAN choice and provide an IP address for the workstations to connect to. There are some other choices. This edit button right here, it will allow you to change the license key if you need to. In order to create a program for the workstations, you would click on this button up here that says create. You can either create the actual program itself or you can create a seed that will allow Deep Freeze to install the program at a future time. In this video, we saw that the Deep Freeze Configuration Administrator is used for creating the Deep Freeze environment. But in the next video, we'll take a look at the Deep Freeze Console, which is used to manage the Deep Freeze environment. I hope this video has been informative, and I thank you for viewing.